Thousands of tourists visit the Wimberley area each year to experience the unique and quirky little town. But some say a new addition right in the middle of the square is putting a damper on the city's vibe. KXAN's Lauren Landman takes us to downtown Wimberley. The Christmas season is in full swing in downtown Wimberley, but instead of a Christmas tree welcoming tourists, there's something different. Can I call it a porta potty? What are no, thinking? it's a crowd pleaser or a, 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 a visitor pleaser. Not everyone is pleased. Some say this $40,000 restroom on wheels flushes the charm of Wimberley right down the toilet. We pride ourselves on being a, a quaint, cool looking little community. That's what we strive for. A certain amount of funkiness. That's not the funkiness we had in mind. All of the businesses on the square have their own septic systems. When the Cypress Creek Cafe burned down earlier this year, so did four bathrooms inside, pushing visitors to surrounding shops that weren't ready for the extra traffic. They're not getting a chance to break down and do all the biological and work that uh, they normally would do. And it's, it's forcing a lot of us we just don't have that capacity. Wimberley Mayor Mac McCullough says the public restrooms are only temporary until a sewage system is built. For now, he sees no problem. The residents and the, the users and the visitors love it. It's, uh, it is a little bit big, but it's not unsightly. Those in the community say otherwise. This thing on social media gathered in a matter of two days over 500 negative comments. They'll have to stay upset, likely for 11 months. That's when the city will be done installing a new $7.5 million sewer system. Lauren Landman, KXAN News. So last night the trailer was turned 90 degrees after the city council voted to try and hide it behind some trees, even with the solution. The restroom remains in the middle of the square. And Wimberley began taking steps to upgrade that city's wastewater system four years ago. In its original feasibility report released in December of 2013, the city said failing and insufficient septic six systems in the central business district contributed to elevated levels of pollutants like E. coli bacteria in local waterways. According to that report, constructing a uh, centralized wastewater collection and treatment system would help protect those waterways and address economic issues for business owners.